Here is a view of our pond in progress. You can see my many donkeys over there grazing near, but thankfully not in my apothecary patch. I think I have it secured now. I put this electric fencing up here. Bobby and Maddie and I did one day, and Maddie, Bobby didn't like that I tied off on some trees and didn't take posts all the way up the hillside. He likes a very straight fence line, but it's not hot. It was just to keep the horses so I could board them up out of this area if we were having a lot of kids running around or something else going on where I didn't want the horses to come in and maybe startle somebody or bolt for some reason when there were a lot of little children out there. So it's just a divider fence with no electricity on it. And we got done. You can't see it now because of all the trees have grown up over the summer, but my fence line tied off to the hillside that I climb like a billy goat is almost 100% straight. There's a nice little overlook behind the pond area that's being dug. Nice little scenic walkway. It can also be a great place to uh, hide and watch for game or anything else. The pond is still a work in progress. It's filling up nicely. We have more work to do on it. The middle of it's going to have a little circle of land. My husband always wanted to own his own island, so he'll get to in his pond. And uh, we'll have it stocked. There's frogs in here now. You could gig frogs all day long if you wanted to. They get very loud at night. I wish some more of the tribe members would come kill some. But it'll be stocked with fish. We would not have to leave this property for anything. Uh, we can reload. We have to be able to make our own arrows. We have milk producers, meat producers, egg producers, wild game, fish, plenty of fresh water. Um, our well we have, which of course is electric, but we do have a dipper and we're investing in a solar one. We have the pond water that can be treated. We have a natural spring runoff to the ravine and we have a creek that has never run dry. Came close once, but never ran dry. The creek leads around. We could take a walking, the rowboat, the amphibious vehicle, whatever, to a public lake that it runs into without ever having to get on the road or leave seclusion. And uh, it's just a fishing and uh, rowboat type of lake, kayaking. If we did need more water and fish, yes, that would be a threat to leave your own property, but at least we wouldn't have to leave that far if we were forced to for water or fish, which I don't ever see being a possibility. But you can see down there, part of our house, it was a hunting lodge. It had concrete floors. It was uh, very Spartan accommodations when we got it. We're working on fixing it up. Saw the little house. I looked at it as a blank slate. We're using some barn wood from the old 1800s barn that unfortunately had to be teared down for safety reasons to uh, do a nice decorative wall to cover the partially uh, poor concrete walls. It's similar to what we want to build. Open floor plan, lots of areas for extra sleeping and poor concrete at least halfway up. My husband prefer it all the way. We're going to put a metal roof on it. Wildfires can be an issue when you live out like this. We have the shelter house where there's an outdoor uh, cooking area. There's an outdoor kitchen in the back and a cellar. We can cook on the uh, charcoal grills, charcoal smoker, make our own charcoal. Plenty of wood around here for wood for the smoker. Uh, one smoker is gas. Plenty of propane stockpiled along with other fuels, typical prepper things. And a wood shed down that way. And the blue thing you see in the middle is a playhouse we built for the kids, which could double as sleeping quarters in a shit hits the fan situation. The children help with the project and they have to learn to keep it clean and pick up their toys. And we made it kind of an adventure to climb in with a climbing wall and a rope. And now it has a tunnel and a slide a little physical, act, physical activity and we do some uh, obstacle courses and training games with it. And my apothecary patch is over there. You can see the little top of a yellow thing was a little tyke's boat that was once a pool then a sandbox and now it's part of the children's medicinal and edibles growing area my apothecary patch. They help tend to all of that. It's one of our growing plots. We have raised bed container gardens and then a large garden as well. But if you, the house across the street used to be part of this property, uh, you have to go on out the road here and wind around a little bit to get to the road in that house. That's our nearest neighbor. They were visible from anywhere unless you're here down bottom. And their dog and Jovi are saying hello to each other. And over here is one of the hay pastures. And that tree stand back there is still our property. And that's the trail you would take to get back to the private beach and even more berry bushes. A lot of wild edibles back there. Definitely some hunting back there. The deer like to roam from that corner over here, the creek, up the right side of the property, and then through the middle of the woods and across the top. In our garden, an old barn are over there, and you can't see it through the trees there. 
but we have uh, about a one acre garden over there besides our other growing plots. That one's not ideal right by the road. That's not our only food source. We wouldn't do that if it was, but it's a great spot because there was a hog pen there. We grow corn and a lot of viney things, potatoes, carrots down that way. No tour this homestead would be complete without our beautiful secluded half mile driveway to show you exactly how in the middle of the woods we are. Um, it's when you're looking for a prepper retreat, privacy and seclusion from the road are very important. My husband wanted the last property on a dead end dirt road. That's not what we found, but we found something just as good and better in some ways. So there's only one way in and one way out by vehicle, which is also a big plus, at least by a typical, um, you know, car or truck type of vehicle. And you would be very determined and take you a very long time and eventually be spotted if you try to come in the property from any of the other one direction. So here we go. Here's our road. Everyone thinks a bridge should go over. We prefer this rock formation. It's low right now. It's been hot. We haven't had much rain. But when it swells up, it will go all the way out to the gate there and well past where we just drove. This portion of the creek here can take us down to that public lake I mentioned. This creek runs the other side of the property. The horses can water there as well. And if we went beyond the gate, we would see our garden to the left and the beautiful old barn. I believe I've put some pictures of it in articles before. To the right is hay pasture and a little trail that leads you out past probably two or three hundred berry bushes to what we call our private lake, our private beach rather, the big sand bar out there with a river birch tree. The kids can play in the sand and then get off the sand and go swimming in the creek. Um, so if you drive by on the road, you do notice a power line on the road, the way it's grown up and my, won my battle with the electric company that will trim our own trees. I don't want them to clear cut the length of the line. That's crazy when ruling our privacy. Uh, you'd have to really look to even think that somebody lives here. It just looks like a lot of properties in the area that it's where cattle might run or hay pasture where nobody lives and they just cut hay. Or one of the many hunting leases which are popping up all over our county. <laughs> 